Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through a practice GED math question. Now, you have to know that this is video number three of a five part video series. So, if you're here, go ahead and watch this video. But somewhere in this video, you'll be able to click on a little link that will take you to the playlist that this video is a part of. And then you can go back and watch video number two, video number one, and video. Uh, numbers four and five as they become available but right now you're at video number three so sit back and enjoy all right so let's go ahead and jump into number three here let me read it for us so chase is organizing an appreciation dinner for 50 sales associates at a local hotel he has a budget of three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars if the hotel charges chase one thousand two hundred and fifty for ballroom rental what is the most Chase can spend for dinner for each sales associate while staying within his budget? Okay, so Chase is organizing this meeting. And let me go ahead and get my mouse going here. He's going, he's going to organize this meeting. So what this is kind of setting up to setting us up to do is the inequality. Why? Because we have to look at some of this keyword here, and there is the word budget. Right? Oh, let me and it mean to underline the word well that's fine um the, the word budget so that's letting us know that it's not a fixed amount but it's a budget but now we always want to go to the question and so the question says what is the most he can spend for dinner for each sales associate while staying in his budget so we want to know the absolute most he can spend so what this is going to do this is leading us to set up what we know as an inequality. So we're going to go ahead and put down the 1,250 because we already know that's the room rental. And then we're going to add that to the 50 sales associates because we already know that there's 50 sales associates. But what we don't know is what's the most. So we're just going to call that X. What's the most he can, uh, what kind of lunch he can give them? Can he give them prime rib or can he give them chicken? And so we'll see what's going on there. And then we're going to set that as less than or equal to. Actually, let me go back and make that a little bit clearer. And so there's our X. And then less than or equal to. So that less than or equal to is an important concept. And that's why we call it an inequality because it's not equal to, but it's less than or equal to. Because again, we are dealing with his budget. And so his budget is 3750 And so the question says, what's the most he can spend? But he could also spend ten dollars on their lunch right or he can also spend twenty dollars on their or, or on their dinner the question says here so because it's less than or equal to it can be less than or equal to it okay so this is asking us to set up an inequality and then let me go ahead and just get another color here for emphasis so then what we can do is then just solve this as a regular equation um, because for the most part these inequalities do function as regular equations so we're gonna uh, our whole goal is to get x down here equaling something so we're gonna uh, do the opposite so the opposite of 1250 is minus 1250 and we do it to one side we're gonna do it to this other side and if you don't know this concept you know visit some of my other videos and, and see how I teach this and then 1250 minus 1250 is zero, so that leaves us 50x over here. And then 3750 minus 1250 leaves us 2500. All right, and then again, we're doing the opposite, so 50 times x. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So instead of 50 times x, we're going to do it divided by 50. And if I do it to that side, I'm also going to come over here and do it to that side. And then those 50 divided by 50 is 1, just leaving us 1x or x. And then 2,500 divided by 50 is 50. Okay. And, and so we know now that the answer is the most he can spend while staying in his budget is $50. So we come over here and put our dollar sign and put our $50 there. 
So again, this question is asking us to set up an inequality. And on this inequality, uh, we just set it up just like I've showed yeah. you. So again, if you like this video, please go down at the bottom of this video and give me a thumbs up. Like this video. When you do that on YouTube, it helps other people to find it. YouTube likes it when people like videos, then more people can find it. And if you really like how I teach and what I teach in terms of preparing for the GED, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Again, like I mentioned earlier, in this video this is video three of a five-part video series and so when you subscribe you get notifications of, uh, of, of when my new videos are coming out so you can stay abreast of what I'm doing here on the YouTube channel again this has been GED teacher Damon Tennant